full time, Ronnie Parade, Newport One, Accrington Free, nothing to play for, and that reflected on the players. Well, yeah, I suppose so, but you could also take, for example, look at the last month and a half to two months. I mean, we were up there two points off playoffs, and it's just nowhere near good enough. I mean, you can blame injuries all you want, but the team we have out. And some of the teams we've lost to, like you can list Colchester, you can list tonight against Accrington, Grimsby, like those are three teams below us who we should never be getting absolutely demolished by. So look what's happening. We have a team that's clear up to the challenge, clear don't give a shit, and uh, it's starting to get on all the fans' nerves and it's making Cotton look bad again. Yeah, I, I will reflect on the injuries. Like three, two, three weeks ago, you know that I was very, like, sort of expressive of that, saying, you have to look at the injuries but now like you just can't because whether you're on that pitch or not you like the 11 that's on there i know some of them ain't good enough some of them are academy players some of them are you know coming back from injuries and stuff but surely when you're on that pitch like and you're in the heat of the moment it's it's not so much the away games but the home games you've got the crowd behind you you've got like four nil to crawley three one tonight surely you bounce off the the home fans obviously we've been so you know, well known for having a good home record, uh, you know, apart from the last couple yeah. of seasons. But, like, it just seems like at home, we, we, it seems like we're better away than we are at home and you'd expect it to be the other way around. But <sighs> we're three games away from this season ending this weird season, you know, an amazing cup run. But now it looks absolutely dreadful. Mm. Like, would you just end the season now? If I had the opportunity, I'd just say, let's do the Arsenal situation, let's get them all poison with lasagna and just let's just forget the end of the season because I'm not being funny now. Matty went off in Matty Bonzo went off injured and Adam Lewis has had to go get sent off for being an idiot. So now we ain't got a left back for the rest of the season, most likely. We got Harrison Bright who's getting shouted at by the senior players instead of being coached and supported, which is always fun to see. You know, it's just this team this team don't seem to want it anymore and they're just not fighting for each other, not playing for each other. And it's also hard when you've got pricks like Darren Drysdale sort of officiating games where you get a goal disallowed from literally doing piss all. Yeah, I didn't realise VAR was in League 2, but oh, today yeah. today, I, today, it came into fruition. Um, Dame Toolin, do you think the players that know they're not going to be here of Dame Toolin, I, I don't like singling out players because I think it's, it's bad, but Matt Baker knows he's not going to be here next season. Adam Lewis knows he's not going to be here next season, obviously, un unless we get them back. But just like... The lack of discipline there, you, look, two, two, three minutes to go, the game's done, three, one, you've lost the game and you're just so petulant to kick out at the Accrington player, get yourself sent off, mm. not let yourself down realistically because you're fucking off at the end of the season, but you've just put your own team in jeopardy for the final final three games. Yeah, exactly, I mean, Adam Lewis, you can see the passion he has for the club, he's always, he's always talking about how he loves it here and that he, he'd, be, he'd be open to staying, but I mean... That, doing that is just completely wrong. When you know there's three games left, to go and get a three-game ban and put the team in jeopardy is just wrong. And especially to, look, to act like that when you've got Jack Norris on the pitch, who's only a 16-year-old lad, to, to, to look like that in front of him isn't a good, it's not a good sign at all. And then, and then even kicking the cones, I know you're frustrated, but like you've got two, you've got, you've got, you've got kids on the pitch that they're looking, looking up to the senior players. Or, you know, even Adam Lewis is quite young, but looking up to the the players on the pitch that have played all season, they don't want to see someone get sent off and then just act yeah, in that way. He's still a contact from Liverpool, so if Liverpool see that, they're going to think, oh, they don't want him to act, but they don't want to act. Yeah, um, man of the match, I think there's only one man. Matt oh. Baker. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt Baker. <laughs> fucking Stoke's, most, Stoke's best player. Nah, you I mean, Stoke you've got to get a Bryn Morris. He's the only Wales person out there. Morris is the only person out there who's really gave a shit, and that goal was just quality, and it shows why we need to try and tie him down for a few more years. But after this run, I'm not sure if he wants to stay, but yeah, Bryn Morris, that's would be quality as per usual. Tramia Saturday, whether we care, whether we. We'll still be here, we'll still be watching it, but score prediction for that. Oh, I mean, they got. They got Jennings, they got Dennis, they got Norris. I mean, they got some great players. I mean, I don't, I hate, I hate saying this to, to go against my club, but it's going to be three 0 Three 0 If you look at it tonight, I could turn to one of the poorest on some of the poorest form in the league. They've got, they've not got a good squad, and to lose three one to them and get absolutely demolished the way we did, it just shows that there's no way for us to go other than just down at the moment. Up the county. Up the county.